Hi, I'm John the Engineer, and in July 1995, John Turmoil Turmel was voted Internet Kook of the Month Worldwide. So for many years, anytime you ever did a search on the internet for John Turmel, you got an article by Morris Jones that came up deriding me, and here it is. Date, August 8th, 1995. Uh, news group, Toronto General, Ontario General, from a Carl Mammer, M-E-M-E-R. Subject, kook of the month, guess who? And there's a news group called altusenet.kooks. And subject, K-O-T-M, kook of the month, July, what already? And it says, Kook of the Month for July 1995, John Turmoil Turmel, BC726 at freenet.carlton.ca, and Toronto General, Aunt General, Can General, Can Taxes, and a whole lot of other news groups. John leads a one man crusade to explain that Christ spoke in differential equations. And, of course, this upset everybody so much that I was voted Internet Kook of the Month for July 1995 around the world. And that meant that every time that you looked for John Turmel for many years, you ran into Net Kook's topic by Morris Jones. And he goes, quote, Another contemporary Canadian Net Kook who is somewhat eclipsed by Bob Alisat's stellar performances, is John Turmel. His postings have reached Australia, the UK, and other places where they are most unwelcome, such as his own nation. So, my posts are deemed most unwelcome, and from that on, they can call it spam. And they do. Turmel pushes a strange blend of Christianity and economics, and believes that he can derive differential equations by studying verses from the Bible. And yes, I do. The backlash against Turmel's messages have followed a similar pattern, although someone in Canada recently released a cancel bot against his postings to more than 14 news groups. That meant that they wiped out every one of my bunch of Carlton brats, wiped out every one of my posts around the world. And they can do that anytime. And they make, can make all my stuff disappear anytime they want to. Turmel is also still at large, so watch out for his postings on Oz General or New Zealand General. So this is what they're told about me uh, when they look. Now, I've added in a little note, it's interesting to ponder what it is about arguing that Christ spoke in differential equations that renders readers so incensed as to warrant such a worldwide award. Yet, one physics student from a Texas university did solve the puzzle and come up with the correct differential equation for Matthew 13, 12. And the answer is dB over dt, the rate of change of bank balance over the rate of change time, equals interest times balance IB, where I is the interest rate and B is your bank balance. Imagine only one other person from over a dozen news groups around the world, which included engineering, psi engineering and psi economics, only one other person except me managed to see the differential equation in Matthew 13, 12, and Christ repeated it in Matthew 25, 29, and Christ repeated the differential equation for interest in Luke 8, 18 as well, and he repeated the differential for interest rates in Luke 19, 26, and I just found out this year that he also repeated the differential equation for interest in Mark 4, 25, and that differential equation is, to those who have abundance, positive, will more be given over time. And to, to those who have no abundance, negative, even what they have will be taken away. Well, how do you take away from people with nothing? You can't. So how can this work? Only in a money debt system. Oh, you can make them more negative, but you can't actually take their stuff away. So Jesus is a bank fighter 
fighting interest rates and he mentions the differential equation for interest rates five times in the New Testament and then two more times in the Nag Hammadi Scrolls and the differential equation for interest rates is the most quoted statement of Christ in the Bible. Five times. The most important thing he ever said was the problem is they take from the poor guys to give to the rich guys. Yay, Jesus. So, that somehow incent, no, it didn't really incense. You have to understand that, like in my marijuana fights, I found out that the prohibitionists have narc moles, agents, working within the free, you know, abolished prohibition movement, so that Alan Young, top Canadian cannabis lawyer, stabs Terry in the back when he got the law declared dead and then helped bring the law back alive. And Canada's top publisher, Mark Emery, hushes up the story about the exemption extensions pocket one and hushes up the story about Parker getting the pit decision, saying that the MMAR hadn't worked before Alan Young got the pit decision set aside, he says. And finally, the what was the third one? So, two. And then the Canadian hey, leader of the marijuana party, another narc mole, uh, what's his name, Mark, uh, whatever. You can read about it at my website and my blogs. Another guy, they're all Judas is working for the bad guys. Well, if you think that they ain't got moles in the let's movement, in the anti-interest rates movement, you better bet again because they do. So everywhere over my whole career, I've run into people like this who've given me a hard time and done everything to impede my message that interest-free chips work best. Christ spoke in differential equations, said he didn't like loan sharking, and the resistance is so great that they made me internet kook of the month and I wear that with a badge of honor. So, and that's why we'd expect and all that you'll see over the next coming weeks, some spectacular stuff coming up and we're gonna route the moles out of the Lex establishment over the world in the next couple of weeks and really shake up things. Stay tuned. P.S. This is from Kookpedia. Not Wikipedia. Kookpedia. I have a huge page of Wikipedia, but this is from Kookpedia where they do a list. John C. Termel, nicknamed Turmoil, Pro Pot Screeter, Litigious and Religious Kook from the 90s on the Usenet and loser of no less than 58 elections in Canada, now 68, currently infesting Yahoo groups. So there's people out there trying to shut my, down my message on a regular basis. And from an old post, this is the Morris claim, and then they explain it. So this is under list of awards, Kook of the Month, July 1995. Hmm.